Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Friday the 6th of August 2020 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates and leave what needs to be left. These readings can resonate a few days longer than when they are released. So what do we have? What is the message for today, please, angels, spirits, guides, that people need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like those two cards together. I've got talent. And talent is something that is unique to you, isn't it? To have talent in something, it feels like it's very unique to you. However, we have that with someone being showered. You can see all the gold coins there. Showered with prosperity and it's coming from above. I really like that energy. Okay, what do we have? Please, angels, spirits, guides, what's the message people need to hear the most? What is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you. There's something better. Okay. Let's see what we have. What is the message people need to hear the most? Thank you, Eight of Pentacles. Crossing that, we have the Hierophant. The Devil. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups is supporting energies, Page of Pentacles is in the environment, very nice, Two of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. <laughs> I quite like this energy for that reason. Okay. Oh, Three of Cups. I'm going to put that there because I did look. I like the Queen of Swords. You know, I'll have to stop looking at the cards because I just have this urge to keep on looking at the cards. <laughs> okay, um, and obviously the more that you pull, the more cards you pull, the more specific and precise the story is. So we have the Two of, so two of Wands got two of swords there as well so two of wands choices decisions how i take how do i take next steps now um it can be about stepping into the unknown we have the devil energy here Again, this is an energy of keeping within boundaries. The message is staying within some kind of boundary here, however, is enslaving you. It doesn't feel like you're letting your talent shine. Um, there is an opportunity. It feels like somebody is, is wanting to do something, to go for something. Um, but there's a feeling of, of some kind of, with the devil, it feels like, the comfort zone or something that might feel comfortable or um, or to stay where you are is not allowing you to be who you truly are and that's what I'm getting here the most. You know the Hierophant is an energy of Taurus so we have Capricorn Taurus, two cards of Capricorn here. Um, yeah, and we have, have Taurus and Libra with the Queen of Swords. So the Hierophant is a card of spiritual guidance, um, having faith, a higher power is at work. Um, 
You might be dealing with a holy person. There could be a holy person giving you some level of advice here. You might be talking to a mentor, like I said, somebody who is quite holy. Um, and it feels like... It's almost like you're being told there's a higher purpose for you. Because we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Somebody who works at what they do and they do it very well they have a real talent this person creates the pentacle and they have a real talent for bringing value and security and success in their life but you see how they produce that pentacle they have the hammer and chisel they carve out the star on that pentacle what they're doing is a gift you know it's a gift that only they do well it's the uniqueness of what they do well they do something well that they enjoy that they're good at and this can be about putting your heart and soul into something to bring potentially material gain in your life but also to be recognized for what you do and do well that could be in terms of money that could also be in terms of accolade recognition by peers you know recognition by your other co-workers it can be a number of things but it feels it feels for some, someone's got a higher it's almost like you're being told you've got a higher purpose here the crowning uh thoughts we have the queen of pentacles somebody who is represents abundance and success she understands how to bring growth to her life she understands how to have a goal and slowly and patiently take steps towards that goal. Slowly and patiently take steps to bring in greater abundance into her life. She doesn't rush. This is the practical things that you need to do to provide. This is about providing for yourself financially to um, take care of you. But it also feels, uh, it feels there's an energy of coming to your own. You need to open up, you need to grow here. You need to understand the talent that you have can make, can bring you, uh, can make you thrive here. You know, it feels that kind of bountiful energy is available. However, somebody, it feels like somebody isn't going for something right now because we have the devil as the foundation. The Four of Swords is a card of reflection, contemplation. Um, sometimes you might have, there may have been disappointment here. You may have been disappointed. You may have tried something. There may have been, there may have been disappointment because you're still stuck in the devil energy. So there could have been disappointment here. And now this is about how do I move forward now? How do I move forward? Someone is giving some deep thought. They're regrouping in terms of how they move forward now in their environment. We have the Ten of Cups, the happy home, the happy ever after energy. This is the supporting energies. Oh gosh, it just feels like your family, your relationship are very supportive for you. Uh, it, it just feels like you have the support and love around you in this energy. It, it just feels, you know, people see you for what you can achieve, you know, and it, it feels like the loved ones around you, uh, your family, your relationship, it just feels there's quite a supportive energy there. And there's a kind of an energy of, I, I want to do this because I want to bring greater abundance into my life and share it with the people that matter to me the most, you know. I want to deliver the happy ever after in terms of material success, you know. But there's definitely an energy here of, they want you to be happy. It feels like your family or your relationship, they want you to be happy in doing what you do. 
and in that way they're very supportive. The Page of Pentacles in your environment is a message to do with, it feels to do with a, a, an opportunity. Um, Page of Pentacles can be the very beginnings of something new, the very beginnings of change. So there is an energy of some kind of message to do with a career or financial opportunity coming your way. Feels very beautiful. That is open to you. Obviously, in this reflection time, it's if you take action towards it, but this is open to you right now, this page of pentacles, because it's in your environment. Like I said, the queen of pentacles is all about growth. This is something that for you to, to thrive, to learn on. There could be some on-the-job training here. You might have learned some new skill or qualification as well, and this is what we're all with the view to starting what this is. So essentially this is about planting new seeds for future growth um, and it can be about giving something new a go, it can be a new industry, it can also be a new area, it can just be some, a new job for example or a new business but it feels, I mean some of you may have gone, got some more training it's not limited to that, but like I said, there is some kind of opportunity that's waiting to be tapped into. Two of Swords is an energy of weighing something up. You know, I don't have full clarity right now. You could be waiting for some message. If you've taken steps towards the Page of Pentacles, you could be waiting to hear back here. This can be a card of I don't have the full clarity right now. Um, so you might be just waiting to waiting to get clarity on something. But there's definitely an energy here of if this is you weighing up some kind of decision, there may well be a bit more information that you need to see. Sometimes with this, this energy here, it can be somebody who is, who is self-sabotaging in a way, not seeing the truth of what this devil is representing, how you're being enslaved right now and not allowing yourself to shine. Shine in your talents. This is about shine your talents. Um, it's almost like someone's light is being hid under a bushel here. So that is something to be dealt with, again, if you're not taking action towards dealing with this. Because for some of you, there's an opportunity to move on from disappointment. So again, there's something better. If you've been knocked back before and you're trying to recover from it and you're replanning and regrouping, there is an energy here. You're going to be walking, walking away from disappointment, but it's towards a new level of celebration. So there is absolutely celebration here. And I feel this is celebration with friends in the home, the family, people who are absolutely behind you wanting you to do well, wanting you to be happy in what you do. Something that you uniquely do well. It just feels there is some beautiful celebration coming your way, which will allow you to move on from disappointment or knockback. So the Queen of Swords, especially with that Two of Swords, is might be somebody who sees your skills. You know, she is somebody who, she doesn't deal with flowery language. She, you can't, you can't um, pull the wall over the Queen of Swords' eyes. You know, she is, sorry, the Queen of Swords' eyes. Yeah, she is somebody who sees the absolute truth. So she will see. She's somebody who sees your talent. I mean, it could be anything from a talent agent to um, a, an employer, uh, a business person. You know, somebody who absolutely sees what you do and it does it well. It might well be that somebody is very favourable here for you. But I also feel that you're being asked to see the truth, to make some clear judgments in your life now, because there's, there's real nice, there's real success available to you. Uh, this is about you aligning to a path that will allow you to thrive and flourish and display your skills and talent to the best of their ability. And if you do that, there is real prosperity here. So whatever this, whatever message, again, if this resonates with you, that is what you're being asked to do here. 
Okay, final message, please. Final message. Motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say, get busy and do it. It's not just about spring this, it's about being motivated now in this energy uh, to spring into action. Okay, what do we have? Let's pull another card and then we will leave it there. Divination. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your situation with crystal clear clarity, Queen of Swords. Life energy. The, ha the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy and she reminds to you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. Again, shine your light. It's a really interesting reading. I hope uh, you found it useful. I know it won't resonate with everybody. Um, if you enjoyed it, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd appreciate that and I will see you next time. Thank you.